guys, welcome back to Too Cool for Middle School. Today we're gonna to be talking about some maternity and postpartum stuff, so not really any teacher content for today. If you're new here, my name is Megan and I've had this channel for maybe like eight years or so and uh, I currently have a five-year-old, so you know, five and a half or, or six years ago, I also made some videos about pregnancy. Um, I did some videos like teaching through the first trimester, second trimester, and third trimester that could also just apply to, to like working in general um, through those different stages of pregnancy. So if you're here for mom content, those might be helpful. I have a few like postpartum videos, a birth story video, which I can never watch again. It was kind of a traumatic experience, but um, yeah, so we've got a little bit of everything here. So today, what I wanted to talk about is something that I wish I had watched a video on last time I was pregnant. I wanna talk about some of the things that you might want and you might need if you are pregnant for this time and then for that postpartum period, which is just really tough. For me, it was very difficult. So with my first baby, I had a fairly easy pregnancy compared to this one. It, it was pretty easy. Um, this time I have a lot more like back pain and hip pain. I got more nauseated at the beginning. All of that kind of stuff is worse this time around. Um, but even though I had a fairly easy pregnancy, the birth and delivery was pretty terrible. It took 54 hours and then I ended up having an emergency C-section and then um, just the recovery was not super fun. <laughs> and there are a few things that I wish I had been prepared with for the postpartum period and that I wish I had just like allowed myself to get for the pregnancy period. So this isn't an exhaustive list, this is just a couple of things that I have picked up for myself recently that I have felt guilty spending money on because this is the thing, when you've got a new baby coming, you're like, okay, I need to, first of all, figure out my time off, which if you live in the United States is a joke, and so you are trying to save money and there's plenty of things that you need to buy for the baby, so you don't wanna buy a lot of stuff for yourself. But, like, you are the baby, basically. <laughs> like, right now, the things that you, like, invest in for yourself are helping the baby. And as you are in that, like, fourth trimester, where the baby is fresh out your body and trying to adjust to life on the outside, and you are the baby's only source of nourishment a lot of times, either nursing, formula, whatever, you're making sure that the baby is clothed and washed and fed and sleeping and all of that. There are things that you need to take care of for yourself as well so that you can do that for this little one or maybe multiple little ones. Oh my gosh, that sounds so overwhelming. <laughs> Best of luck to you if you're having twins or triplets or multiples in general. I'm just having one. So. I'm currently 25 weeks pregnant, so I'm a little bit more than halfway. So, you know, I'm, I'm pretty big this time around, I think. This is the bump shot that we got going on right now. So, <laughs> let's talk about a couple of the things that I have purchased for myself that I am trying to convince myself not to feel guilty about. <laughs> okay, the first one. Totally not a necessity, but let me just give you permission to do this if you want to. So my fingers have been swelling more than they did last time. This wasn't necessary last time, so this might not be necessary for you. But my wedding ring was getting really tight and I was like, if my fingers swell anymore, I'm not gonna be able to get this thing off. So I took it off and I went to the mall and I was like, I still wanna wear a ring. So I'm just gonna buy a fake ring, like a fake diamond, you know, fake wedding ring, whatever, in a larger size to wear for the rest of pregnancy and probably into postpartum because I think I just like stayed swollen in general for a couple weeks. So <laughs> let me try to show you my ring. There we go. So I went to a jeweler and so the band is gold or maybe like gold plated and then obviously not a real diamond, but it's still a pretty one. It's still kind of 
a fun one. And you know, I've been wearing the same wedding ring for 11 years, so it's kind of fun to just like switch it up anyway. So like if your fingers are feeling like little sausages and you can't wear your wedding ring anymore, maybe buy a fun little temporary one. Another thing I recently got, and I did this last time as well, is I just got some cute, comfy sneakers. I can wear these to work. I can wear these on the weekends. I just like these little New Balance. I think they're like walking shoes maybe, or just like, I don't know, tennis shoes in general. I'm gonna try to link everything that I can below. So you can look in the description box for any of this stuff. But I just, I liked these. They have a little bit more support than the tennis shoes I typically wear. Like a lot of times I'll just wear like my chucks, you know, that are like really flat sneakers or I'll just wear like sandals to work. I live in LA, so you know, it's not cold very often. We wear sandals for most occasions, but I just thought these were kind of fun and they are very comfortable and keep me more supported. I just have to tell you, I wore them for the first time yesterday. Yesterday was Friday. And as you can see they're you know, they're like white. They're a little bit harder to keep clean. And we were listening to the morning announcements on the news and they said we were gonna have a fire drill and I was like, dang it, every single time I wear a new pair of shoes, we have a fire drill and then I have to walk through like the wet grass and they get dirty. <laughs> so like two of my students, you know, that were sitting really close to me, they were like, oh yeah, and your shoes are so clean today. They were like, oh man, that sucks. And so right at that moment, another kid came in late and he had his tardy pass and he like stumbled over to me and gave me his tardy pass and then stepped on my shoes. I was like, dude, <laughs> trying to keep these clean. And those other two students were like, no, I was like, oh goodness. So I don't know, maybe not go with like the light gray and white. I managed to, you know, still keep them pretty clean, but whatever color you like to get them in, something neutral that you can wear, you know, every day or whatever. So anyway, I'm happy with those. <laughs> this next item I didn't get last time. I, I don't think I ever really felt the need to. My back didn't hurt all that much last time somehow. This time it really does. So I did get one of these wraps. This is from Belly Bandit. And so normally I would be wearing it, but it's Velcro just goes around your waist like this. The back is supportive and you can't, oh, it goes this way. Um, you can put this little ice pack, heating pack thing in here. So either put it in the freezer or put it in the microwave for a couple seconds and then slide that in and it'll, you know, either do hot or cold on your back, which is really nice at the end of the day. And then overall it does just support you a little bit. I remember thinking last time that like, I don't know, it just didn't, like the physics of it didn't really make sense to me and it still kind of doesn't but it works. I don't know how, somehow it works. It does make you feel more supported in your back somehow. So um, like normally I'll wear, you know, maternity pants and they have like that panel that comes up and I put this over that panel and then I have a maternity shirt that I put over it and then that kind of covers it. So, you know, it's hidden, hidden but helpful. Another thing that has just felt good to wear that is pretty supportive are these like maternity tank tops that are a little thicker. This one is from Blanqui. And so, you know, it has this little like cutout for your tummy and it's pretty thick material. And wearing this does make you feel really supported. So I have a couple of these tank tops in different colors. I think I have like white and black and then I got this pink one. Hopefully you can't really see from there, but it fell behind my dresser and then I had to like drag it out with a, a hanger along the floor behind the dresser and it got dusty. <laughs> so I haven't even worn it yet, but I, I need to wash it. I was very sad about that. I wasn't <laughs> thrilled. Like, of course, of course that would happen. But anyway, I mean, these are definitely more expensive than your typical tank top, but they do have more to them and they just like hold you in. For some people it might even like double as a bra. Not for me because pregnancy makes my boobs freaking enormous and it's really, really annoying. That's another thing that I've had to buy a couple of is just enormous bras. That's really like a non-negotiable, like you just, you have to get those. <laughs> what else are you gonna do? 
the only thing that is like difficult to decide is you're like okay if i'm gonna buy these huge bras that are necessary right now that might not be necessary in like a year should i just go ahead and get like the maternity style bra so that i'll be able to wear them you know after pregnancy and like use them for nursing or pumping or whatever so i've, I've kind of done like half and half because the maternity bras themselves are usually not super supportive and they're i don't know they're a little annoying I don't know. I haven't figured that out yet. I've just bought a few. Not excited about it, but buy bras that fit. Another item that I bought from this Blanqui place uh, are just black leggings that are also like extra supportive. So they're like extra stretchy. They're really thick. I just wear these as pants all the time. And again, these are a little more expensive than like black leggings from Target or something but they do have that support in them. So when you wear like the leggings plus the tank top, that's pretty good. I almost don't even need the support band thing. I mean, like I don't, you could, you could do without it. But if you have a day coming up where you might be on your feet more often, like we're gonna go to Legoland pretty soon. So I'm already like planning ahead. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna wear these super supportive leggings and then the band thing and then the supportive tank top and my sneakers and just like you gotta plan all that out so i would also recommend a pair or two of these if you've been watching my channel for a while you know that i prefer to buy fair trade clothing or to like keep it as sustainable as possible and one of the cool things about maternity clothes at least for me is that they end up being really sustainable because between like me and my sisters and my friends we just kind of swap everything. So all of this stuff is a little on the pricey side. It's not um, fair trade. I don't know what kind of stuff they're making this out of. It's magic. <laughs> um, but I haven't had to buy a whole lot of maternity stuff because my sister, my friends have given me things. I saved stuff from my last pregnancy and then I'm gonna pass all of this stuff on to whoever's pregnant next so they can end up using it as well so it seems like most people tend to do that so if you have some you know just like friends co-workers sisters cousins whatever like just pass around all of your maternity stuff so that it gets more use out of it and then just don't feel guilty about buying things that are gonna make this very uncomfortable almost year of your life a little more comfortable just kind of keeping with like the clothing theme so like I said, I didn't have to buy a whole lot of stuff. At the moment, I was just doing laundry and I washed some stuff that one of my friends had dropped off and I was like, dang, I have a lot of black leggings. So I have lots of black maternity leggings, like two pairs of maternity jeans. And at my job, I can wear like leggings and jeans to work. So you just need a couple pairs of bottoms that fit. And then I just have like neutral maternity t-shirts. So I've got like some white, gray, and black. I think one or two that are like striped. That's pretty much it, just neutral t-shirts. And then I can just continue to wear, you know, cardigans that I always wear. So I was really, really glad when we shifted into like more fall weather. It was a little bit harder over the summer. But this little uniform now of just like Pretty much every day is like black leggings, neutral t-shirt, cardigan or sweater, whatever, and then my sneakers. That's what I wear basically all the time. So this is not really like a maternity thing, but the other day I just saw this like very, very cozy, wonderful sweater, little cardigan uh, from Madewell. And it's just like so, so soft and comfortable. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get this for myself. I just like it a lot. It's really nice quality. I can wear it forever. I like very long cardigans since I am tending to wear leggings a lot. So this is just something that goes with my little like maternity capsule wardrobe. So, you know, if you're a, a cardigan lover like me, maybe just treat yourself to a new cardigan. I'd rather invest in that than like a more elaborate like maternity shirt that I can only wear when I'm pregnant. I'm just doing cheap shirts and then, you know, wearing something else over it. I've also picked up a couple of maternity dresses. I was putting away my laundry today and I realized that I have a black maternity dress that is sleeveless 
one that's short sleeved, one that is three quarter length sleeved, and one that is long sleeved. <laughs> so most of the time I'm just wearing a black maternity dress and then maybe like a cardigan over it or like I have this kind of like oversized jean jacket that I wear a lot. So your maternity wardrobe doesn't have to be like very complicated. Like all my stuff is pretty simple. Um, however, I did get something with a pattern, something with a print the other day. This was from Target and I just thought it was really cute. Um, you know, it's just maternity cut so that your bump fits in it. It's a little bit of a shorter dress so I could wear this with like tights and boots in the fall. I think this would be really cute for like Thanksgiving or Christmas or whatever. Do they make maternity tights? Ooh, I hadn't thought about that. Maybe just one of my million pairs of black leggings would also be fine. <laughs> so yeah, maybe just one or two, you know, cute dresses in case you have to dress up to go somewhere, someone else's baby shower, some kind of a little party or whatever. I don't go out very much these days because I'm tired and COVID, but you know, occasionally there's something I need to attend or dress up a little bit for. So I'm excited about this one. A couple of way less cute things. <laughs> okay, so last time I had a C-section. This time that's what the doctor's recommending as well, which is fine. The, the um, recovery is miserable. Uh, I, th I think I'm mentally prepared for it. This time at least I just know how bad it will be and it's helping me a little bit just to know that it's gonna suck, but at least I know what's coming. I, I thought about, you know, kind of doing like the V-back thing or whatever. Um, I, don't, I don't even know if it would work, just with like, I don't know, it seems like my body has some weird stuff where uh, it just kind of needed to be a C-section last time, but um, then I was like, oh, like that's a, it's a different recovery. The, Vaginal birth is different from a C-section recovery. So that kind of scares me a little bit too. So I'm like, you know, at least I know what I'm getting into. And one of the things that you need for a C-section recovery, I'm not so sure if, if this is as necessary for a vaginal delivery, but you need something to hold yourself together. So, you know, this is not sexy, but it's necessary. So this is also from Belly Bandit, um, which is where my little wrap thing was from. And these are just like underwear that will hold you together. So you don't wear these like immediately. And I remember seeing people like recommend these things or whatever, you know, come up on my Instagram feed like last time. And I thought it was just kind of like a vanity thing to like help you bounce back faster. And that just kind of annoyed me, but I quickly realized in the case of a C-section, that's not really what these are for. You're not really bouncing back <laughs> ever, I don't know. But you've gotta like hold your organs in and hold your muscles together. I had to go back to work pretty quickly after having Jensen. Um, I had him on the last day of school and then summer is like 10 weeks long. So I didn't really have maternity leave, but I had 10 weeks off. 10 weeks postpartum from a C-section, you're, you're not whole. My stomach couldn't really support itself. Like it just takes a long time for your muscles to kind of come back together. I could kind of like feel my organs were, I don't know, they, to me it, it seemed like they were maybe still like settling back into place. Um, immediately after a c-section you can't even walk like you can't even stand up straight you have to wear something kind of like that belly bandit for the first couple of weeks that's just like uh protecting like your your scar your stitches just like holding you together in general and then as you heal up a little bit more then you can wear something like this like when you have to go out or be on your feet or whatever so the only thing is it's a little bit hard to like figure out your size because I can't try this on right now. So I'm, I'm not going to be able to try this on for a couple more months. I hope I got the right size. This one's a medium. I don't know. They're going to feel a little bit uncomfortable no matter what. But at the same time, it feels a little bit comforting because it is holding you together. <laughs> and then I got another style. This one is like shorts style and this one's in black. It has a little panel right here for like 
where your c-section scar is and then the material changes a little bit above that so at least i'll have two i think i have one left over from last time so i can kind of like rotate through them when i have to go back to work which I don't know, might just be like 12 weeks this time. I might get like a little bit more time than I did last time. Even when you go to like the grocery store or something during that period, it's, it's nice to just like feel a little bit more held together because your body's kind of not doing it. Okay, these last couple things are also mostly just for postpartum. And this is kind of like for the immediate time right after you deliver and you're at home. Hopefully, I, I hope all of you get to stay home for a little while and heal and recover and figure out this new life that you're responsible for. At the very, very beginning, you just need to be at home and hopefully there's somebody to kind of bring you food, clean up for you a little bit. I remember just being so thankful for my husband just for any help he could give me at that time. So um, those black leggings that maybe you have a little stock of now you're going to continue to wear those because it's not like you just deflate overnight and it's helpful because you know they they do just give you a little bit more support in your stomach where you're going to feel like you need it um i just wore a ton of nursing tank tops i don't think i have any i I, maybe I didn't keep those. I think they probably got kind of gross. <laughs> they get dirty. You get spit up on, pooped on, peed on. A lot of breast milk leaks out. It's it's not it's not cute. <laughs> so I think that's why I don't have any with me. I'll I'll need to stock up on a couple of those when it gets a little bit closer to my delivery date, which will be sometime in February of 2022. I have a couple months left. So you're wearing the black maternity leggings, you've got nursing tank tops that you can just kind of, you know, you just flip them down and up as you're constantly feeding. Or honestly, if you're not feeding, don't worry about it. If you're just doing formula, who cares? Do that then. I have no strong opinion either way. Do whatever works for you. Whatever works for your health and your mental health. I know so many people who couldn't breastfeed for like really legitimate, reasons and so I'm definitely not here to judge anyone on that front. I didn't last very long to be honest. I'm gonna try to last a couple more months this time but again I'm just trying to like mentally prepare for all of that and know that it's easier when you have all of the right like equipment. So nursing tank tops are helpful in that regard. I also just bought myself a new robe. I was like, you know what? I want a nice comfy robe that I can just throw over my leggings and tank top and just kind of, you know, sometimes people stop by and they want to see the baby or they're bringing you some groceries or something, which is so nice and you don't want to change completely, but you can just throw a robe on. Um, this one is by Girlfriend, which is one of my favorite brands. Eh, you're not going to be able to see that. Okay, but Trust me, it is. <laughs> this is a fair trade brand. Um, they just, they do everything like very sustainably and ethically and they have tons of different size options. I love them so much. So this is a little bit more of a, a pricey robe because of the way that it's made and the way that the workers are treated and the um, tinsel and recycled cotton that it's made out of. Um, but I was just like, you know, I'm always excited to have an excuse to buy something from Girlfriend. And so, yes, I was excited for this just like really, really comfy, soft robe. And I didn't want anything too thick because it, it never gets super cold here in LA. Like a big thick robe would just be annoying, but a nice light one is perfect. So again, I will, you know, link all of this stuff so you can find it because some of these brands are sort of different, you know. The last item that I have to show you is probably the most like over the top, maybe besides the ring, but okay, again, you're gonna be at home for a while. <laughs> you're gonna just be on the couch with this baby. You're gonna be tired all the time. <laughs> you're only gonna get a few hours of sleep. I don't mean to like speak this over you. This is just how newborn babies work. <laughs> again, it's just something, you know, if you're prepared for it and you're, you mentally, you just know that this is coming 
and you've got a few little creature comforts that you can look forward to during this time, then it makes it a little easier. So I bought myself some very fancy pajamas. Somersault and Rifle Paper Company did a collaboration and look at these. I got these lovely silk pajamas that are very comfortable. I just got them in a large. These are the bottoms, so it's like a matching set. I plan to live in these whenever I'm not in the leggings and tank top. Like, <laughs> if people come to see me, this is probably what I'll be wearing. And like, I mean, I loved to take little, you know, like, selfie pictures like this of like your newborn all like milk drunk and sleeping and their little like lips are so cute and sticking out and they have like their little fists and stuff so like you know on this little backdrop <laughs> that will be so cute so i was like hey i'm getting myself some really pretty silk pajamas <laughs> you know how extra i am these were way too long for me they come really long so if you have long legs it's good for you but i actually went and got these hemmed, took them to an alteration place. So it's all gonna fit, it's gonna be good. And then I can even add my robe. They all kind of go together. So for me, it's just very nice to have a few things to look forward to during this time that I already know is gonna be really difficult. Um, right now, I'm definitely feeling like the nesting urges, but it's kind of funny. I'm just like taking care of everybody who is currently in this house so i've been organizing my five-year-old's bedroom a little bit more i got him a new shelf um organized his toys better i like ordered him a bunch of new clothes for school so that i he just has enough for the entire school year and i don't have to worry about it i was just thinking ahead to like i still have to take him to school in the morning i guess you know <laughs> like well i have this newborn and so i'm like okay he's got plenty of pants now and shirts they were like a little uniform thing so it's pretty easy i just bought a ton of the same stuff i just stocked his drawers stocked his closet we have like this little area where we keep blankets and towels and stuff that's just like not super organized so i also ordered a new like cabinet with doors for that area of the house because that's where we're gonna end up putting like you know baby blankets and a lot of baby stuff i think as well so i haven't really gotten things specifically for the baby but i'm just trying to like organize everything else around the house make sure that that's ready for all of us when the baby gets here the most expensive thing that i want to get and we're like shopping around for this but ugh, our couches that we have in our living room We've had them for probably like seven years. My parents had them for like 10 years before that. They just, you know, handed them down to us. And I, I did my last recovery <laughs> on those couches and had a newborn on those couches. And I just like, I feel like they're dirty. My five-year-old now like jumps on them and has like squished all of the like stuffing that's supposed to be in the back and he like always sits right there and it like pushes the stuffing forward so then you go to sit normally and it's like pushing you off the couch i just hate them i'm done i'm done with them <laughs> we've never really bought like new couches before we've just like always gotten hand-me-downs so i'm like you know what this is a good time to get some new couches for the first time to kind of like invest in that because i want those out out forever out of my sight and i'm gonna need some comfy new ones so that I can spend all day on them with the baby. That's pretty much just, well, like last time, I couldn't get in and out of bed. Our bed was a little bit too high for me to like hoist myself into with my C-section scar. So I just put sheets, you know, over the couches and just really lived on the couch. That was my little like makeshift hospital recovery room for a couple of weeks because it was you know just low enough that I could like roll onto it and roll back off so that might be the case again this time so I've got a couple more months to figure out the couch situation and everything is like you know slow on shipping and there's all kind of delays and everything so I feel like I need to figure that out pretty soon so that's like the next thing you know so just like getting the house sorted out and ready for us and then 
we'll figure out the baby stuff. So, you know, have like the baby shower and see what you get and what else you still need to buy. The baby will just be in our bedroom for the first couple of months. That's how Jensen was too. And then we'll figure out. Um, <laughs> I think what we might just have is like an office themed nursery <laughs> for this baby. So I might just leave this stuff how it is. My husband's office is on the other side of this room. We both need places to work. We're like, what do we do now? So he might move his office to a different section of the house and then maybe like we'll have a nursery slash office in here. I don't know. Last time we just had a one bedroom, one bathroom with a baby for the first five years. Now finally our five year old has his own bedroom. So I don't know, you just make it work. You just figure out how to fit them in. They'll be fine. They don't care what their, what their nursery colors are. So anyway, maybe that will be a whole separate video, but Again, I will try to link everything below. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any other maternity postpartum recommendations, please let us know in the comments below. It's always great just to get, you know, advice from people who have been through this before. Ah, the last thing, I don't have it on me right now, but I'm definitely getting one of those like, I think it's called like Lollaboo, Lollaboo, something like that. It's just like a t-shirt that has a pouch in it. And when the baby is a newborn, you can just, stick them in there and they're just nice and close to your chest. I personally, I think I'm in the minority here, but I hated that like wrap thing that's like 500 yards of fabric that you have to like figure out how to go like around your waist and then like make a crisscross around your back and then like stick the baby in. Or the sling thing with like the little ring. I think I kind of had all of those things and I didn't like any of them. I would just like to put on a shirt that has a kangaroo pouch in it. That seems great to me. And I wasn't aware of them until like a couple months into postpartum and the, like my baby was already like too big to fit in them. So they're not useful for all that long, but I think during that critical period of those first few weeks, first couple of months, when like anything that can possibly help you is so appreciated, it's worth it. If you're like me and you're very impatient and you are not gonna sit there and watch a million YouTube tutorials about how to wrap this freaking long piece of fabric while you're sleep deprived and your boobs hurt and your stomach hurts and you're hungry but you don't wanna eat. And blah, blah, blah. If you don't wanna deal with all that, I think, I haven't tried it yet, but I think that t-shirt thing is probably worth it. So my sister had one, she's gonna give it to me. Maybe I can get by with just one or grab another one. They make them for men as well. So then if you have a male partner, he can wear it as well. So yeah. Also, I'm gonna look out for those. So thank you again for watching. I'm all done here. I need to go eat some food. Next video, we'll probably be back to talking about some teaching stuff, maybe some book reviews. I don't know. I don't have plans these days far in advance. I don't even know what day it is. It's, it's, it's all difficult right now. So <laughs> I will see you in my next video, whatever.